showed you how to get a Korean account and how to connect to the server. And now let's go over the patch notes because they are fucking insane. First thing is, I will give you the link to that site in the comments down below. But here you will be able to pre-register into your purple for additional rewards. And I just did it right now. So like after the time and it still worked for me. So maybe you can also still get the rewards even if you're a little bit late like me. The Hyper Boosters itself, they have two times experience, double the Solent and double the Dungeon Rewards. You get a max set at 50 of Tier 1, so you can basically almost jump directly into farming Tier 2 Dungeons. And you have Lock-In Rewards daily, and like probably the most interesting part, once the server is over, you can transfer everything that you farmed on that server onto a normal server. So even if you're a long time Korean veteran, it might make sense farming on that server for the additional loot and then transferring back to your old server. Additionally, through the double experience and that, you're getting a hyper boosting chest and you're getting boost coin. Something else that is new is the challenge dimensional circle. So it used to be that you just get your thing, you kill it, you go up in the rankings. Now you can decide between one to 30 tiers and the tiers are determining the amount of rewards that you're getting. So instead of only getting like the one, two or three rewards that were possible with like one, two or three star from previously, you now have the option to fine tune the difficulty more. And I would say overall, this will allow more people to get better loot. One of the core rewards that you're getting will be the uh, um, runes here. Those runes um, can be gathered. Then with rune hammers, you can unlock the slots onto your gear and then you can put the runes on there. There is three different categories of runes. There is like a health version where you have more of defensive stats. Then you have like a support version where there's like region and mana and stuff like this. And then you have a damage version where you get like hit, critical and all of that. Probably the biggest change, which will also require me to update my class guides, is that there's now skill specializations available. For all skills, you can have between two of up to four different allocations that you can put in those skills. They, they sometimes change the total effect around, or sometimes they will just add like more damage or something like this, so it's more like a passive or an actual complete change. Important to notice here, that you are starting with um, a couple points already. Whenever you level up, you will gain uh, more points and you can purchase multiple specializations for a skill. So you're not limited to choose one. You can choose, go basically here to full main mode and buy all four, but you will have a locked amount of points. So if you spend everything in one skill, you will might not have it for another. And this variety, allows now for actually different builds with the same weapon choices. So I think the build variety with that update got like increased times 10. It's really, really nice. For the live content, we are having fishing newly introduced, where you like classic and other games, you farm your bait, you farm your rod. The more often you do it, you gain experience, you will get access to higher grade fish and all of that. And this is done actively playing. Then we are having cooking, also similar to other games. You run around, gather shit, you throw it in a pan, you get some um, food that will buff you. The speciality here is that there is like a party slash guild food that you can drop on the ground and everyone can feast from it in your party, for example, and buff themselves. I have never seen something like this in a game before, so I'm really excited for that. Now let's come to a passive part. At the moment, I mean, toys are just like a, I would say, nice collection of little slaves that pick up your items. But with the new update, they are actually more now. So you can form little parties of Ami toys and send them out for expeditions. So basically, they added some kind of a browser game in here where you will do like a mission. It takes like eight hours. Then you get rewards. You send them out on a new mission and so on. And they're probably implemented that to get people returning to the game more often. Now let's look at the world map. 
in the open beta, we were able to play everything that you see down here. And on top of there, right as the connection to Forno Bazaar, where you're doing your, um, your contracts once you're 50, we will have the new area. And we are seeing it's six areas in total. We are seeing three dungeons. We are seeing a couple bosses right here. Like, um, it looks uh, really, really nice. We don't know the 100% loot table yet, but I'm already really curious. And of course, what cannot wait in like an expansion, it is also a level upgrade. So probably in the new area, you will go and farm up to level 55. We are also getting new dungeon bosses. And I think the approach here is really interesting. Instead of giving us all the new items and dungeons right at the start, they were releasing them in two hour uh, in two week gaps and this will allow people to stay more entertained for a longer period of time i think this is a smart idea and one new thing is the uh, tally stones so we have just talked about runes that you can put onto gear and here you can now put um, like an artifact together out of gemstones and tally stones and this will give you additional spikes so you can specifically target and get stats for the build that you're needing. Like for example, I will be playing, be playing crossbow dagger. If I drop a queen balandir bow, weakened chance is like a really important stat. At the moment, you are limited to how many weakened chance you can get. And systems like this allow you to dig even deeper into builds and make them viable. Yeah, if you have any more questions about the update or you just want to join, in Korea, just let me know. I will be streaming almost every evening now on the Hyperboost server and answer all your guys' questions. Cheers, guys.